what's up YouTube fam Brandon Weaver here once again and if you're trying to get your credit straight you're trying to get that 700 800 credit score well good on you man you came to the right channel all right now today we're talking about can you dispute everything on the 609 dispute letters can you send everything all at once in the disputes can you send everything to the collections all at once all right what do you do if one of the bureaus deletes stuff but the other bureaus don't delete stuff what do you do in that scenario getting late payments off student loans getting late payments off of accounts that potentially are good standing what can we do here all right and very specific questions for y'all so you stay tuned hit the subscribe button so you don't miss nothing all right so this individual had a quick question before mailing out their first round of letters. This individual has two accounts in collections, one for medical bill and the other for cable company, okay? Medical, cable company, more of a utility, more of a medical. This isn't a bank card, this isn't a installment loan. This is a medical issue and a charter cable bill, so they're worried about it. Can I use the 609 dispute letters for both of them, okay? Yes you can yes you can yes you can you can put both on there to ask for verification now with late payments okay because I have an individual who asked about late payments here and they want to know hey if a company has late payments on my account what is the optimal process of removing late payments without removing the entire account great so on your 609 letters when you're sending out your medical Okay, when you're sending out your cable on there, right, you can put on that account that has late payments and under provide physical evidence, you can put unverified late payments. Okay, unverified late payments. Now, what I would suggest for this medical bill specifically, and the specifics of this are so important because your credit repair is different than whomever's over here or whomever's over there, right? So, medical. You want to send a collection validation letter hoping, hoping, salivating, salivating ah, that they put and send you some silly stuff with your medical records on it and they don't send a HIPAA release form, they violated your rights, this, that, and the third, and you can send some HIPAA dispute letters to the credit bureaus showing them they did exactly what they're not supposed to do. You can get the letters where? 609creditrepair.com or we do the work for you at the awesomelifegroup.com where awesome credit equals an awesome life and people are living in it and people are telling me they're getting their cars, their homes, their business, their vacation on, all right? It can happen for you. You can come to the other side, hit the subscribe button, hit the bell for notifications, hit the thumbs up, all right? If you want to get to the other side, put down below, I'm making it to the other side, all right? Put in the comments, I'm making it to the other side. Now, We've got an individual who paid a collector. Ah, oh, man, you know what I've been telling y'all? I've been telling y'all to be paying this third party debt collectors who ain't got no communication, got no contract for you for them specifically, all right? Let alone have some contract from the original creditor, right? But they ain't got nothing bonding you and that third party together. So, this individual, I paid a balance in full to the collection agency. Can I still dispute that? Can they be taken off my reports? Yes, yes it can. Now what I want to tell you about this payment, when it's all paid and said and done, and all the dust is settled, and all the smoke is cleared from your payment, the collector doesn't want to spend time validating it, verifying it. The bureaus don't want to have to substantiate it and verify it and worry about it because no one's making any money off of this anymore. You paid them, they're done. I have found personally in my own personal credit repair once something was paid off it became much easier to get the accurate information on your report right because they can no longer verify it because they don't necessarily want to verify it within 30 days they have all sorts of other disputes that they're going to try and make money on keep people's feet to the fire okay I've seen, I've seen it I've seen late payments update personally I've seen stuff come off of my reports personally I have seen Old accounts stay on there. Okay, I had a specifically had a USAA card that was fantastic because they left it open and updated it, and it's all positive and no lates, and, and it's phenomenal. What they helped me because I was in the military, so it was great. Paid it off, right? Had to pay. Uh, I didn't know any better at the time. Didn't know any better at the time, much like yourself. But it worked out to my benefit, and it's going to work out to your benefit as well. So if you are having the same situ similar situation, don't despair. You're okay. And you're gonna wanna subscribe because you wanna get all these good details when they come out, all right? Hit that bell. Now, talking about 
Goodwill talking about paying stuff, all right? I called the student loan company and they said they don't do Goodwill adjustments at all because it's their policy and the quote unquote, they actually put quote unquote law, LOL. I laughed at the agent and said, don't worry, this isn't gonna be the last that you hear from me, all right? Ms. Brown, appreciate you. Now, the truth is that I have seen it on my own. I've seen it on my partner's Cornitas. I've seen it for clients of ours. I have seen it for customer uh, customers of ours. In fact, someone just emailed in that the Goodwill letters work from them. I'll actually read you that email. I printed it out recently. I'll put it on the next video, all right, Jerome? Stop, stop looking at me telling me to wrap it up. I'll wrap it up when I want, Jerome. I'll wrap up these videos when I want because these people want the goods. They want to know how to repair their credit here, okay? Jerome be playing games. I tell you what, you need to be working on that camera and the edits, okay? Appreciate you, Jerome. I appreciate you greatly. I appreciate you, brother. Don't think I don't appreciate you. I see, I see you over there. All right, now, if y'all want to see Jerome on camera, give me a thumbs up, all right? Tell me in the comments below, you want to see Jerome on camera. I'll, 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 Jerome. All right, so yes, the student loans can be updated. They do do Goodwill adjustments. Other people will find out the, um, other people are up upper echelon supervisors and things like this. A lot of times they can't verify that you were or were not late. The bureaus can't do so. They do. And the law, actually what it says is things that are reported must be 100% accurate. It doesn't say that everything has to be reported or that they don't make errors. Okay? So something has to be 100% accurate, 100% substantiated, and if they can't do so, they must be changed or removed, right? Deleted. Right? Right? Exactly. That's the law, the interpretation of the law. What they're saying is they're saying that they have evidence, they can prove it, this is why it's on there. Well, show me that. They can't, they don't, they delete it. We have goodwill letters that are written up in that manner at 609creditrepair.com where it'll ask, hey, if I ever was late, show me, player. Show me, player. Works. Or you'll send a goodwill letter because you're paying on time all the time. You call them, you hustle, you dispute the unverified late payments. See, come back full circle, all right? Unverified late payments with credit bureaus, and then they know. Okay, we're not gonna waste any time. Let's update these, okay? It's been long enough. We're tired of this nonsense, okay? Now, if the original creditor no longer is in business, then the original creditor is no longer in business. This actually happened to me before. I had a card that was with something that went out of business. Uh, the bank behind it dropped the, the information, all this stuff, and it wasn't able to be verified, but it's, a, it's another story, another day, another story, okay? This comment from Miss Caradine, I think. Yeah, Miss Caradine, I like that. If original creditor is no longer in business to validate the debt you owe after they, after they sold it to a collection agency and the collection agency has quote unquote validated the debt and still wants you to pay on behalf of the original creditor, is this legal? There's no proof because the original creditor can't can be contacted. Okay, great. So first of all, the original creditor has to be off your report, dispute it. Uh, they can't verify it. There's no way, right? It's impossible. So this collector needs to have an instrument of indebtedness. It needs a contract between you and the collector. And it also needs the contract from the original creditor. They're going to swear up and down, oh, well, you, we know this and we know that, we know this. No. If you watch some of my other videos, I have had customers and clients write in that have actually gone to court because a collector thought they could pull the wool over their eyes and simply said, look, we don't have a contract. There's, I don't know how this individual could collect, okay? Because I don't see anything substantiating it, okay? I don't see my name on a contract. I don't see my signature here, right? Okay? So, yes, you are in the right. This stuff needs to be deleted. You send your 609 disputes. You send your collection validation letters in, all right? Get them at 609creditrepair.com. These guys are playing games. They're trying, to, they're trying to cheat the system, okay? It's the law, and the law is your friend, all right? Now, I just found your videos recently. I appreciate you for watching. But this individual disputed online, all right? They dispute online. We know we don't be disputing online, okay? So, can I resubmit a claim via mail and how long after the claim, initial claim? That's a good question. A lot of people want to know if they can do it right away. There are other trains of thought out there. The problem is you dispute, so you're in dispute, so the stuff that you dispute is in disputes, okay? You don't want to send additional information in at this time 
as they might take an extra 15 days, it would be 45 days, 50 days, it could be up to two months by the time you get your information back. So wait, wait on the dispute. The dispute process that you did online isn't the strongest because it plays in their game. They don't ask, I've, I've, I've done it. I've gone online and did it before I knew any better years ago, okay? 2009, eight, eight, somewhere in there, okay. But anyway, long time ago, right? Almost a decade ago, man, all right? Did it online. And I noticed you could not ask for verification. You couldn't ask for validation. It plays into their system, okay? So don't do it. Send your certified letters. Ask the stuff that we ask in the way that you ask it, all right? The way that you ask it in the time, time, timing of it is very important. The system is set up for you. There's videos you can follow, okay? All right? All right? All right. So 30 days after you have sent in your disputes online, basically, right? So once they come back to you, you can send out certified responses. Now, you're gonna ask your next question. I know what your next question is. Jerome, I know what the next question is, all right, brother? You need to settle down, settle down, Jerome. Okay, your next question probably is, well, do I send the second round letter because I already disputed once? No, you're gonna need to start with round one because it's allocated and appropriate for verification. The round two letter is asking them how they verified. Okay, now you sent disputes in through online, which didn't necessarily ask for verification or validation or substantiation or signed contracts or real original instruments of indebtedness. Did it? No, they don't let you put that on there. So you need to start from round one. This is what we do for people all day, every day at theawesomelifegroup.com where we custom tailor stuff for you, okay? That's right, we get your reports in, we scan them over, we find the violations, we leverage those violations to get stuff. If it's not 100% verified, it must be deleted. You can do the same for yourself at 609creditpair.com. All right, if you need questions, support, email me, put in the comments below. I'm getting it in, all right, get my credit repair starts now. Hit the thumbs up, I really appreciate you, and until I see you in person, I'll see you on the other side. Take care.